Hey guys, my name is Kevin and I modify Nerf guns and in today's video it's a little bit of a different view but I'm going to show you guys how I make my Stefan darts. I make two kinds of Stefan darts, I make hot glue domes and slugs and I'm going to go over what you need, how I make them, show you guys how I actually do it and then show you the finished product. So I'm going to make one of each kind of dart with me but first let's go over the kind of tools that you need. Uh, some kind of jig. I got this off of Remedy Metals website. It's a, uh, a tool cutter. It works great. I love it. I use it for all my darts. You're going to need a foam of choice. I use uh, Pack D foam. That's what it looks like. It's, ho it's hollow in the center. So my weights are a little different. Uh, an Exacto knife. This is uh, a tester's hobby knife. I use it. It's pretty sharp. You need felt tips, felt pads if you're going to be doing uh, slugs. You need a hot glue gun right over here. You need a weight of choice. Today I'm going to be using number 7 fishing weights. I like these because they're a little bit heavier than uh, 3.0 and they work really good. Some hot glue, a lighter, and something to hold your darts in. I use a rapid fire uh, 20 to hold my darts so that they dry nice. So, let's get started. So you take your little jig, put some foam in, take your exacto knife, I'm probably going to make two or three, and this is called a blank, it's uh, a cut down version, it's what's going to eventually become your dart. Usually you straighten them beforehand, but I straightened my foam a little bit before I decided to make this video for you guys. So, I guess I'm only going to get two darts out of this little section, which is fine. So now that I have that, we're going to start making the actual dart. So, I need two weights. That works. So, here's my dart. To be, I take my weight, I push it in just a little bit to start, and I take my hot glue gun, give just a little tap, that was a little much, this will become the glue, glue dome, and then I like to push them in. The reason I do this is to, because my foam is hollow, so it's to help keep the weight actually into the, the foam. So there's that. I'm now going to make the glue dome. This is a new hot glue gun, so I'm learning how to use it. You take it, just make a little circle. Just like that. And what I like to do, I like to flip them over, make sure gravity gives them a little kick. If you look, it's got a nice little dome. Now I'm going to let it dry. And how I also make my slugs. Uh, when I make my slugs, I like to test my foam so that I can tell which side's flatter. So it's obviously this side. I put the weight in, give just a little tap. There we go, that's better. We press it in. You try to get it as flat as possible when you're trying to make a slug. So this is when you put your felt pad on top. It doesn't actually fall off. And now that that glue's had a second to dry, I'm going to take my felt pad. I'm going to lay that face down right now just because there's one last step I have to do. Take your glue gun again, put a little bit of glue on the weight. While it's still wet, take your felt pad, you line it up just on center. Give it a nice little press so that you get a nice flat little thing. And this is what a almost completed slug weight of mine looks like. Uh, first, I'm going to just take a little bit of this off, and that's why we actually have this handy dandy lighter for. We're going to gently kiss the felt, which is we're going to just give it a little burn so if you look right now there's a whole bunch of little fuzzies we're gonna get rid of that just like that 
It's got a nice little brown and that's how I make my darts. So if you like this kind of a video guys, give it a like so that I know to do things like this. And if you want to see more awesome content from me in the future, hit that subscribe button. And also check out the Facebook page. That will be a link down in the description box for you. You can always contact me and ask me questions. And thanks for watching guys. I'm Kevin.